Hey y'all, it's Steve, Hobo with Wood, or at least what's left of me. In this video, I'm going to take the perfect picture frame and make it better. I'm going to create a file that allows me to personalize this frame and not have to redesign it for every time it needs personalized. We're going to do that using variable text. This is really cool. You're going to want to watch this. So I just returned from Lightburn Experience and I'm feeling a little under the weather so I sound terrible, feel worse. But I've got a project, this is something I wasn't planning to do, it's a necessity. I came up, I've got to make this frame uh, for, uh, well, this is uh, a special frame and I'm going to personalize it and it's my best dog ever frame that's been on my website. And why do I call it the perfect picture frame? And it's because of the way I engineered the rear of it. It has the kickstand built into it. Little tabs will slide out of the way and you can just pop out your kickstand. And then it will fit so that you can display your image. There we go. And uh, landscape mode or it'll flip and you can display your image in portrait mode so regardless which way their photograph was taken this frame will work horizontal or vertical then for those who don't want it to be sitting on their desk well you can take and simply place the kickstand back into position and lock her in place and you've got hangers to hang portrait and hangers to hang in landscape so you've got one file that's going to cover every need for a 4x6 photo desk mount in either orientation or wall mount on either orientation now it's online on my website now hobowithwood.com just as you see it best dog ever with the paw prints randomly placed all around it well i decided i wanted to make one that was personalized and put the dog's name randomly around like the paw prints and i thought well that's going to be cool but i don't want to have to sit there and put in the name every single time and then set up all the randomness of it so i was wondering could i do this with variable text Yep, you can. So let's jump in here to Lightburn real quick. This is the first time I've used a CSV file. So whether or not I'm doing this 100% accurate or not, my way works, and it works really cool. So let's take a look at what I've done. So I've got the file in here already. And when you're using the CSV files for variable text, you use the value of 0%, 1%, 2%, 3%, depending on the columns that you have open or that you put into your CSV file. Now here, I only wanted the dog's name on here. So I'm only using the very first column of the CSV file, which the first column in a CSV file is zero, not one, but zero. So I'll jump over to Excel real fast you can see I just have a simple spreadsheet here that I put the dog's name in row one, column A, and saved it. That's the only thing in this text file, the CVS file, CVS, CSV file, comma separated value. So I saved that. Then you need to go in here because if you don't have it open already, you're going to need to open it. Come up to your Windows tab and come down here and check your variable text menu. Turn that on, and that'll give you this menu right here. And what you're going to need to do is bring in that CSV file. So you'll browse to whatever location you saved it at and link that CSV file 
to this project. Again, I only used 0% for this because it's just one single name. I start my values here, current value 0, start at 0, end at 0, and advance by 1 is irrelevant because we're not advancing. And then right now, it looks it's just 0% everywhere. But if you hit this test button right here, it shows you what that's going to look like. Pretty cool, huh? Now, this is recognized as text. Now, I'm using the freshman font on this one for reasons that we won't go into. The font is relative to the dog. And if you wanted to change that, all you have to do is you can hold your shift button, select all of the black layer. Well, actually, I've got my black layer down here on my logo, so we'll take that and put it on a different layer so it's not included. Now, shift to select all of the black layer. Now, that's everything, and everything right there shows you it's in a font. Now, I can just simply change my font, and you can see it changing right there in real time. But that will also change the font and the variable text. Now, you want to be careful, though, because if you want these all to be the same size font, if you change, if you had it all selected like I did and you changed your font size, it all changes. I wanted Duke smaller than best dog ever. It's at 15 value, and the Duke is at 10. So it's about 75% of the height of best dog ever. And that looks good. Now... How is this, why is this, why do I feel like it's so valuable? Well, I just said, if we look there, that's Duke. Now, I save this file. File, save. I'm going to clear this CSV file. I'm going to go over to my Excel, and I'm going to put in here another name. These happen to be initials, Chi-Chi. And we're going to say file. Save as, the name is going to be GG, and we're going to save it on this PC, on the desktop, and where is the save button? Save, right there, save, done. So now I can come back over here to browse, come over here to my desktop, there's GG, I'm going to open that, apply it, and now just hit the test button, and now you've got a file ready to engrave. For GG. You don't like that particular font for this name, then you just simply select everything on the black layer, that is, and change your font to whatever you want it to be. And you know what? Let's do uh, let's do a little broad uh, brush script. No, let's not do brush script. Uh, let's see. What's another one I like? Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, I like the engravers, but I don't like the spacing on this. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and select that. Now I've got that selected. I'm going to select just that best dog ever. And I'm going to change my horizontal spacing to zero. And I'm going to change my size to 10. Uh, let's go 12. Yeah, that's better. And now we're going to shift select all of that again and deselect the best dog ever. And now we're going to change the size of the engravers on the GG initials to actually we're going to make them bold and we're going to make them, uh, um, let's make them 12. And now let's see, test. Right, and that I ain't so crazy about that, but you see how easy it is to change this. And I've got that one file, so now I'm going to go back into my variable text here. I'm going to clear this CSV file for GG. I'm going to browse, go to my desktop, and find the one for Duke and say open. Put that back to what I had just so you can show, show you the process. Uh, we're going to select shift and click on the black layer 
tell it to go to now here's another uh, a tip that you may not have known on your fonts let's say I use uh, say I use this element file uh, font a lot and I don't want to scroll down to the bottom to find it once I've selected it and the elephant font is highlighted there I can right click in that field and come down here and add to favorites well, what does that do well now when you open this up you have up here at the very top of all your font list Arial black elephant freshman and then the most recent used and then all of your fonts so there's all of the fonts that I just put in my favorites. I want this one to be freshman, so I can just click right there. I don't have to scroll down. If I wanted an elephant, I can come right there, and it's right there on top to my recent fonts. Let's go back to freshman. I'm going to put this back to 15. I'm going to shift and select everything. Control, deselect that, and put these back to 10 and not bold and I'm gonna that's good okay and preview or test yep I'm happy with that so the parts are off the laser and I've got them in the paint room drying I've sprayed some lacquer finish on them and with this cold I've got the it, the, the smell is killing me so this is gonna be a short video I want to introduce you to Duke this is Duke now Duke was a cool dog. Duke lived a long, full life. You can probably see some scars on his nose, around his mouth. His, he, uh, he wasn't afraid to tussle with wild boars or alligators or whatever got in his territory. Uh, he's a cool dog. Uh, he even liked to go to the movies. This is a, a photo I took of him. Uh, at, at the drive-in theater uh, the movie's getting ready to come on he's sitting down in front the movie's starting up and he's turning around looking at everybody hey let's keep it down in the cheap seats <laughs> uh, Duke was a cool dog so he'll be missed by his family for sure uh, I'm going to get this out of the paint room get it assembled and then Go lay down. So hang around, check out this end product. This turned out pretty impressive, if I say so myself. And I do. I really like this. It's glued up and together. I don't have the hardware on there yet. Still got to put the hardware on the back. But that turned out to be a really nice finished piece. And I don't know how the glare, the light's going to reflect on that. It's supposed to be non-glare plastic, but that turned out nice. Now, he has no idea that I'm sending this along with another memorial that I did for him. Uh, but that looks good. And I used the same frame that's on the website, hobowithwood.com, best dog ever. And that frame is just a spectacular frame if you just bought the frame and took all the artwork off of it and just use it for a picture frame or did your own artwork. But I showed you in this video just how easy it was to change those paw prints to 0% and then import the CSV file. And man, you have that template set up with the 0% saved and just create a new CSV file for whatever name you need to put on there and you've got an instant customization that's cool I think he's gonna really like that so I'm gonna call it a night I'm gonna go lay down get some rest uh, and then I've got some surprises coming up uh, in the next week of things that I seen and experienced at Lightburn Experience. Some of them not so good. Some of them were mind-blowing. So uh, be sure and subscribe if you're not because these next couple of videos are going to be quite entertaining. I'm going to get some rest. You guys have a good night or a good day depending on when you watch this.
I'll see you in the next video.